Hey guys, well if you haven't heard, there was a huge warehouse fire here in central Kentucky and I think it's estimated around 2 million gallons of Jim Beam bourbon have been spilled into the Kentucky River. And we're actually here just a few miles downstream from where the spill happened and we're going to put the boat in and run up river and see what's going on, see if there's any dead fish, see what they're doing as far as cleanup goes. So stay tuned, we're going to see what's going on out here. As soon as we come up into the creek here where the spill happened, you can smell bourbon pretty strong. And we've already seen uh, a few dead fish. There looks like a big carp there. And then over here we got a couple gar. But you can definitely smell it. We're going to keep working our way up the creek here. We got another dead gar right here. Looks like there's two more laying right over there. So here we are, this is about as far as we're going to be able to go. It's, it's not a very pleasant smell. You, it doesn't smell like Jim Beam would, but you can definitely tell it's alcohol. And you can see the foam over here on the bank. I'm sure that's what that's from. Okay, it's the next day and we're about 10 to 15 miles downstream from where we were at yesterday. I've heard they're starting to see a lot of dead fish down that way, so we're going to check it out. Stay tuned. So there's the boat ramp. We drove straight across the river to the first log jam here. And here's what we got. Some drum, freshwater drum, white bass, carp, suckers, catfish. I see a moon eye over here. There's a big Asian carp. There's a lot of little baby moon out here. Yeah. Pretty sad to see this. Well, here comes another one. They're just one after another. Well, there's what I was afraid of. Got a little baby flathead here, about eight inches long. He'd have grew up and been a monster one day. It's a lot of fish. And this is only what's got hung up on logs. Just think about how many went downstream. This it's like another flathead, this time a, a lot bigger one. Yeah, there you go. It looks like it's really taking a toll on the flathead. Flathead, drum, carp, Big gizzard shad. Yeah, there's probably like a 50 pound flathead laying over there, belly up. 